Good morning. <laughs> oh, oh, God help me. Um, I'm feeling a bit rough this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's. Um, I've slept too late. We've got blue skies, warm sunshine. The sun's already way, way too high. Um, and I'm having a very, very late, lazy start to the day. Um, I, contrary, <laughs> I, I think I had too much of that Farmer Gill Perry cider last night, which I totally blame on Robin and um, Charlie from Broad Ambition. Um, and uh, but it was it was a bloody good night. I mean, it really, really was. But oh, I'm not used to it. So uh, it was a late night as well, actually. It was, uh, I, I think we, <laughs> we virtually got kicked out the, the pub, <laughs> uh, which is very unusual as well, you know. But, uh, but I'm up, you know. Um, I've just down the coffee, um, and uh, I'm kind of getting a, a, a quick move on because I've actually just been invited to go and um, uh, have a wee look at Broad Ambition um, and have a wee um, uh, poke about uh, the boat. Um, I've never seen that boat um, actually in person. I mean, everybody knows Broad Ambition. So, uh, yes, i uh, going to uh, get myself organised, uh, maybe get another cup of tea and then uh, uh, head on out. Um, where I'm going today, I have no idea. Um, it's uh, definitely um, very, very different to what the weather was yesterday. Still a wee bit of a breeze blowing, but um, I'm actually looking forward to getting a chance to lower the canopy today. Um, out here in that sun, you know, even at this time in the morning, um, it's lovely and warm. Um, um, it's, it's about 8 o'clock, um, so that's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be a cracking day today, so um, I'm going to go get myself organised. I'm not going to babble too much. No idea what I'm doing. <coughs> um, uh, but as always, I shall keep you updated with the events of today. So, uh, yeah. Um, I sh until later, I'll speak to you soon. So until then, bye for now. Cheers. Okay, just a little wee update for you. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it, you know. You know, it's it, it's it's almost like um, I mean, meeting the the the, num the Norfolk Bros number one celebrity, Robin, was one thing last night in the Lion. But uh, if there was any boat that was synonymous with the Norfolk Broads, you know, um, a boat that anybody that regularly comes here, um, it is Broad Ambition, you know. This is the first time. I've never actually seen it in person. I've seen tons of photos of it. You know, everybody knows about this boat, but this is the first time I've actually had the opportunity to actually come here on board and get close. And she is a stunning boat. You know, a real labour of love. She's been fantastic. Um, both um, Robin and Charlie have been taking me uh, 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 around her, and this. I'm a little starstruck, <laughs> if I'm honest, you know, because it's, it's such an iconic vessel, you know. Um, obviously, classic wooden design um, that has been literally, practically rebuilt um, to um, uh, the, the, um, the vessel you, you see now. And she really is fantastic. She is a beautiful, beautiful boat. Um, one thing that did surprise me, and I have mentioned this, is just how wide these side decks are, though. You know, I mean, hold on a wee second, right? I'm just going to show you my feet. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's... You just don't get that sort of space in a side deck. You know? Absolutely fantastic. You know, I'll actually take you... Just, just around her. You know? She's obviously, she's recently been fitted with um, uh, a couple of solar panels on the back there to aid, but uh, 
Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. That's Charlie Griffin there. Um, probably the man directly responsible, with a lot of help, to actually um, build and create this stunning craft. You know, old fashioned steam wheel as well. You know, and it's just absolutely fantastic. You know, and uh, this boat. This boat has actually even been um, down to Great Yarmouth, left, out to the, <laughs> to the North Sea, and actually been down the coast and, and up into the Thames. She was actually part of the Thames pageant um, for um, the, the Queen's, oh, I think it was 50th birthday uh, celebration um, a, a number of years ago. And they actually sailed her from the Norfolk Broads down the Thames. Um, so a very for a for a river cruiser, very very capable boat, um, and, and the fact that the the sides here, if you'll excuse me, you can't really see it, but but down here, okay, is the sides of the boat, and basically you can haul that up like that, it comes in line, and then obviously you get a canopy that goes over, but fold those down into there. Fold the canopy back, fold these back and the, and the windscreen down and she's actually got a very very low air draft once the mast comes down. This this thing will actually go under Potterheim Bridge, you know. Very impressive, very very stunning stunning and I'm, I feel just a little bit privileged to actually have been on board her um, and, and had a wee, a wee tour. Fantastic boat, fantastic. So that is definitely a <laughs> um, uh, made my morning, that, uh, and that was worth the um, uh, slight hungover sort of rush to get dressed. <laughs> so uh, they're planning on, on heading out to uh, Ramworth sh uh, shortly. Um, myself, well, it's a gorgeous day, so it's time I got myself organised and uh, got, um, got going myself. Uh, so. Uh, I'll go there now, I'll keep you updated um, and I'll, I'll go say my goodbyes to Robin and Charlie and uh, yeah, um, as always I'll keep you updated so until later, bye for now, cheers!
to oneself. When spending 15 minutes talking to the camera, remember to push the record button first. <laughs> okay, as I was saying um, to nobody, <laughs> that's me on the way. Um, I left the night there um, and it is glorious. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, the sun's out, the skies are blue, there's just enough of a lovely, lovely breeze to keep it nice and cool and the air moving. I've got the roof thrown back, you know. Um, there, I mean, this is this is broad cruising this. This is fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was absolutely fantastic also to get an opportunity to spend time on um, broad ambition and, and get show, shown about it. Um, I've, uh, it's the first time I've been up close and personal with that boat. I know uh, I didn't really take it around the boat, you know, uh, too much, but um, I didn't really want to intrude too much into uh, Charlie and Robin's day, you know. They were getting ready to, to, to set off, you know, uh, their destinations in mind. Um, so um, I didn't want to sort of take up, to, uh, you know, delay them and by going, getting all stuff like, oh, you know, look at this, look at that, look at this, you know. Um, it would have been, it, it would have been nice, you know, but um, uh, no, no. Um, it, it, it was it was kind of, it was kind of them to to show me uh, the boat let me uh, uh, invite me on board um, uh, show me around and it's a stunning labour of love you know I mean honestly it is a fantastic boat um, indeed uh, right proper old wooden uh, 1950s uh, Powell 1960s Powell um, classic with a with um, a modern twist put through the underpinnings of it. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic boat. Um, and I thank Robert and Charlie for the opportunity of um, um, seeing her. Uh, I also thank Robert and Charlie for the uh, very woozy head this morning. <laughs> but it was it was a great night. It was a great night. So uh, I've just left Thorndike. Um, I'm turning onto the River Bure. Um, I. Not entirely sure where I'm going or what I'm doing today, um, but um, I will um, I will keep you updated um, on the events of the day, when I end up, and what I do. So uh, yeah, um, until later, I shall. Uh, well, I'll speak to you soon. So until then, bye for now. Cheers.
St. Bennett's Abbey, so it's obviously flat and open, and with that breeze, you know, you might be getting a wee bit of wind noise on the, uh, the microphone, so I apologise about that, um, and I hope you can still hear me. Um, it's, it's turning into another lovely day, um, uh, and that breeze is actually really uh, nice and cooling. Um, and like I said, I'm passing St. Bennett's Abbey and it looks to be uh, quite busy there today. Uh, quite a lot of uh, people out and about. Um, I don't know if there's even a tour guide uh, giving a, a, a wee sort of lecture. Um, but yes, it, it's, it's wonderful. Um, so, so very different from um, what um, it was like in... Um, well, mind you, I'm saying that, but actually in April I did have one day that was actually really glorious. Um, so, uh, but it's, it's warmer. I think, <laughs> that's the important thing, it's warmer. It's a lot warmer. So, it's, uh, it's turning into um, a very enjoyable cruise at the moment. Um, I'm not going to stop at St Bennett's Abbey. I'm going to go on straight past that. And um, I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go up the River Ant. Um, obviously, um, I'm in a boat low enough that should easily squeeze under uh, London Bridge. So I'm going to go under um, uh, London Bridge, uh, have a wee look. Um, not entirely sure where I'm going to go up the Ant. Um, uh, I've got a, a couple of ideas where I, I would like to go. Um, I've, I've never been up past, um, I mean obviously I've been to Stalham and I've been to Sutton, but just over to the left of that, I, I think it's called Wayford and Dillon. I don't think I'll get up to Dillon because I'm, 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 too, I'm too tall. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and I, I need a... Um, I need quite a low boat to get under that. The air draft of this boat, with everything folded down, is 7.3. So I might get under the, the low bridge up at Dillon, um, but um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, I am needing to stop somewhere. I'm needing to stop for a shower, um, get organised, uh, top up uh, with water, um, and then I'm needing to, what else am I needing to do after that? Um, oh, I need milk. Yes. Um, I went to Roy's yesterday. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, that's just the bowel thrusters. I forgot to turn them off up on the mic. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am needing milk. Um, I, I thought, I, I took a gamble that I was going to get some milk um, with, the, uh, with the hamper. Um, I couldn't remember if I got milk last time or not, um, and uh, I didn't. <laughs> but um, they did give me um, uh, sachets of milk, so I've had enough for my coffee, so I'm okay. I'm not desperate for, for it, but um, if I happen to pass a, a shop or something like that, um, I might be able to get some milk. 
Um, I might even moor up at Ludham. There's a thought. Moor up at Ludham and get some milk at Ludham. Um, if there is a shop. I'm pretty sure there's a shop there at Ludham Bridge. But uh, I'm not sure if they actually sell milk. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking rubbish. I know. <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's turning into another lovely day. Uh, there's obviously, uh, it's a Sunday. Uh, there's quite a number of uh, motors out and about on the rivers. Um, so yeah, it looks like everybody is enjoying the um, um, wonderful weather that we're having. Um, I'm just approaching the uh, River Ant at the moment, so uh, I'll go for now. Uh, hopefully I'll get under the bridge and uh, yeah, I, I shall keep you updated. So um, <coughs> until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers.
just a little wee update for you. Um, I am on the River Hand now and I've just passed under Modern Bridge uh, quite easily. It's one of the advantages of these um, centre cockpit cruisers, but um, I would have actually even got under um, with, uh, with the roof up. Tons of space, so it was about eight and a half feet or something like that. So I um, still wouldn't have got under on fair ex uh, executive um, like I was on on, um, on April, according to the gauge anyway. <laughs> now, I know Ludden Bridge gauge is out slightly. Um, uh, it's, I think it's about, I don't know, about three inches or something like that is out. So um, it's, I, I think that's, I don't know if it's done deliberately. Um, but if it reads 83, you've maybe got 86, you know. Um, however, I prefer to um, err on the side of caution and go by the gauges. Um, you could slip under if you had somebody taking sight lines and, and, and took it easy. You, you could slip under, but I'm just, I'm just myself. So you know, um, I, I, when I approach things like that, you know, be responsible, be safe, you know, and if it, do, it doesn't look like you'll get under, don't try it, you know, that's me personally, that's why I never tried it in April, you know, but today I slipped under, no problems, very easily, and I'm back on the ant, and I must say, you know, I'm quite grateful for that breeze sometimes, because, see, when you get into the shelter of the trees, you know, and the breeze drops, that sun is hot, <laughs> You know, so um, yeah, um, it's turning into a, a, a really, really lovely cruise. London Bridge was, it got a wee bit sort of busy around around the bridge, you know, it's, London Bridge is always a bit of a bottleneck. Um, I didn't stop, I was going to stop um, and dip into the, the shops, but uh, I've decided to keep on going. Um, I've still no idea exactly where I'm going to go or what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm going to keep on going up the ant. Um, I'm not, I need milk, but I'm not desperate for milk, you know, so um, I will keep going and see where the day takes me. I'm not really sure at all about what I'm going to do or where I'm going to go. Um, I'm just basically floating up, enjoying the sun, you know. Um, so yeah, that is the update so far. Um, everything is going well and um, yeah, so I'm um, hoping it's going to be a uh, it would be great if it's going to be like this for the rest of the week. Um, it's not. It's not going to be like this, but it would be great if it would. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's the update so far. So uh, I, as always, I will keep you updated um, with anything that goes on. Um, so until later, I shall speak to you soon. So until then, bye for now. Cheers.
that wee update for you. <laughs> um, I've just passed Tow Hill there. Um, a bit like London Bridge, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a popular um, uh, stopover point uh, for a, a lot of people. Um, you know, you've got Tow Hill Cottage, you've got uh, Howe Hill House, uh, the Secret Garden. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was quite busy there. Um, still moorings available, um, but uh, yeah, um, I, I just cruised on past the level. Um, I'm continuing up the Ant, and I'm kind of thinking to myself, um, such a, a, a beautiful day as it is today, um, the, the clouds are starting to, to roll over a wee bit, which is a, a wee bit of a shame, but it's still a lovely day, lovely day. Um, but I'm sort of thinking that um, I might take a pit stop at Nitty's Head. Nettie's Head. Nitty's Head. I think it's called Net. Nitty's Head. <laughs> uh, I call it Nettie's Head. Um, there's, uh, I've been told that's wrong. Uh, it's Nitty's Head or something. Um, but uh, I'm thinking um, I'm going to stop there if I can get in. Um, not only is it uh, a, uh, a, a, a beautiful wee cruise up the um, 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 river to, to that particular mooring, um, it's also a lovely mooring um, if you can get moored in at the, um, um, at the stave, which is very narrow, a bit awkward if you've got a lot of boats, um, especially if you have to um, go down to the bottom end of it. I'm kind of hoping I don't need to do that. Um, if I get there early enough, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, fingers crossed, <laughs> that there's space at the top of the, the state so I don't need to go down, down it because, um, yeah, um, if you've got boats moored either side, it's, it's difficult. It is difficult. Um, uh, and you, you definitely need to um, uh, uh, take it nice and easy and nice and slow um, down there. Um, but we, we shall see how it goes. We shall see how it goes. But the reason I'm, I'm thinking I'll stop over then um, uh, is um, it's a beautiful stave. Um, it's the three moorings. They've got water there. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's a wee shop. Um, uh, just opposite the uh, White Horse, um, where I might be able to get some milk. Um, so if, if I stop there, get myself organised, you know, uh, go for a wee walk, a wee wander, um, and uh, after that, um, I can pretty much, I've still got the, the whole day ahead of me, you know, I can continue further up the Ant, I can stay where I am, you know. Um, the White Horse is always a, a, a very good place to <laughs> spend um, um, some enjoyable views at dinner. <laughs> or I can even come back down the river and, and take a wild mooring. Um, I've never really actually, I mean I've done sort of um, mud weights, you know. Um, and uh, I really enjoy mud waiting on a boat. But I've never actually stopped and uh, done, done a wild mooring on the side, got the rond anchors out and shoved them in the ground and tied the boat off. Um, not quite sure how that would work um, easily, me having to do all that, because I would kind of have to get off the boat, hold the ropes, but at the same time, stick the anchors in the ground while holding the boat, secure the anchors, and then somehow tie off the ropes, the boat, to the anchors <laughs> while still holding the boat. <laughs> so yeah, um, that would be um, a, a bit of an experience. Um, but I, I, I think, I mean, it, on a day like this, you know, when it's so calm and peaceful and quiet, well, it's, I mean, quiet is a relative term, you know, at, at this time of year, but it's, it's really not that busy. I'm, I'm quite surprised at how, you know, I expect it to be a lot more busy, you know, um, being in, in, in June, but it's, uh, it's, it's not 
that busy at all. Um, and uh, it's, it's actually really lovely. Um, so I might do a wild mooring tonight. Um, and I've got that hamper from, um, from Barnes. Um, so there's tons, tons of food on board. Um, so uh, yeah, I, 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 could, I could do that. So I've really no idea um, what I'm going to do or where I'm going to end up. But I, I think I'm going to stop over at, at Meat's Head. Whatever it's called. <laughs> Meat's Head, Nettie's Head. Um, and uh, uh, get myself organised if I can get in. If I can get in, I could go down to... Um, um, there's a water point just by um, Mark Brodl. Um, I, I forget uh, uh, what it's called. It's just uh, as you come off Mark Broad, there's a yeah, the river splits, you know, and you can continue right on on up the river and, or you can turn left and it takes you down. To, and there's a wee boatyard down there. There's a water point down there. There's some few moorings down there. Not much else, but there is. Uh, um, the ability to, to stop over so worst comes to the worst I could get water there or you know we'll just see how things go actually just take it from there and just um, figure things out I mean that's the good thing about uh, um, coming on um, on the broads is that you, you just take life slowly you know um, you, you don't belt, belt all over the place, you just sort of uh, take things as they come, you know, you have, you have an idea, you know, you, you, you head off to your destination and if you can't get in, um, you just say, oh well, okay, can't get in this time, I'll maybe get in later or some other time, and you go off and do something else, go somewhere else, you know. Um, so yeah, um, it is continuing. Um, and, and, it's very peaceful, it's very relaxed, you know, and there's no hassle, there's no rush, you know. Um, when I first started coming to the Broads, you know, I was pretty much like, you know, first time pirates, you know, and you jump in the boat, you know, you, you, you had a full, full on plan, and, and you went for it, you know, full pelt, you know, right, you know, this is what we're going to do, go, and this is what we're going to do, you know, and you're like, ah, oh, right, Get there, get there, you know, gotta get there, you know, and it's just like, you know, I've been coming here for a number of years now, you know, um, not that long, but a number of years, you know, um, and it's um, everything, you know, you, once you start slowing things down, that's the trick, you know, you just slow it down, take things easy. I mean, I'm dawdling up this river at four miles an hour, and it's just, Wonderful, you know, that there's not that sort, you know. I'm going to head to uh, Meat's Head. <laughs> um, and, uh, but if I can't get in, there's no problems, you know. I come back out, you know, I can maybe go to Gay Stave, you know. Like, okay, I can't get water at Gay Stave, you know, but um, it's still within walking distance, you know, to a shop, you know. If I can't get in there, you know, I'll go up the river land or back down the river land, you know, and find a mooring there, you know, it's just, it's just, it's cool, you know, I've got food on board, I've got wine on board, I've got beer on board, you know, so, this is, and, and that is the beauty of it, just getting up in the morning, untying the boat, picking a, dis uh, a direction, you know, and just going and see where it takes you, you know, uh, and, it's, it's fantastic, it's, it's lovely, it really is lovely, that's the way to do it. So, uh, yeah, um, I am now approaching um, our stead, which is very, very nice, um, and uh, some lovely, beautiful houses there. Um, so it'll not be long before I'm at um, Bark Broad, and then not long before I'm actually um, heading into the um, Beats Head Steam. So, uh, yeah, as always though, I'll keep you updated um, on, on how things go, and uh, yeah, so until later, I'll speak to you soon. So until then, bye for now. Cheers!
just a little wee update for you. I have crossed Bart Broad and I am approaching, I forget the name of it offhand, I don't actually have the map out. Um, but I'm approaching to the wee sort of um, dike that leads up to Needs Head. Um, now, there's a lot of boats coming out, so that's either Needs Head is full and they're going elsewhere, or they've been to Needs Head and they're leaving and Needs Head is now empty. Um, I have also seen two boats heading up the dike, so um, yeah. I'm not feeling very confident at the moment that <laughs> I'm going to get moored. Um, feeling even less confident I'm going to get an easy mooring up there. So yeah, uh, this could be interesting. Still, 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 like I say, you know, if I, if I can't get in there I'll just move on elsewhere and uh, um, see what our uh, situation is. Um, just before I turn up the dike, uh, I do get a, a quick look up at Gaze Stave. Uh, which is at the bottom of the dike, um, so I can judge what that's like um, if there's spaces there. So, like I say, if I don't get in at Neat's Head Stave, then I can maybe just come back down, load up at Gaze Stave, and uh, um, okay, I won't be able to fill up the water just now, but that, that's all right. You know, um, I've got plenty of water on board. This is only after bit after all day two, and. Um, um, so I've not really used much water except for filling up the kettle once or twice, so tons of water, tons of water. So yeah, um, but we're going to head up the, the, um, um, the stave um, and uh, the dike and we'll, we'll see what it is. So I'm going to go there now because it is quite a narrow dike. Um, so, and if there are other boats coming around, I'll need to concentrate. So, uh, as always, I'll keep you updated. So, until later, bye for now. Cheers.
Okay, just a little wee update for you. <laughs> I actually got in at Neat's Head. How fantastic is that? There's actually plenty of moorings near the bottom end, but um, as I came up in here, there was space just enough for Royal Stewart, which is 35 foot long, just to squeeze in, in the front. Um, so I've, uh, I'm a wee bit close, a wee bit too close, to the boat behind me, but uh, I've spoke to them, they're okay about it, they're leaving first thing tomorrow to go back to Richardson's, so um, I'm appreciating the alarm clock <laughs> tomorrow morning, um, so that that's fine, they'll get up um, and um, I'll make sure that I'm all ready before they leave, um, and I'll leave before them and they'll be able to come on out, um, so everybody's happy, I get an early start, they get away back to the boatyard, excellent, so everything's fine. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, uh, there's still plenty of spaces further down the stave, um, but I always try to moor up here. Just far easier leaving or uh, and getting into it. Um, so yeah, um, if anybody else comes along in the next hour or so, sorry. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I've no idea if that is me finished for the day. There's still plenty of day left, still plenty of places I can still go. Um, I did think about going further up the Ant, um, or maybe back down and have a wild mooring tonight, but um, the white horse is calling, you know, now that I've moored up, you know, it's <laughs> so who knows what's going to happen. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to go away, get myself organised, um, get changed, showered and all that, top up my water. Um, point of note, by the way, I have noticed that um, they seem to be electrical post here now. They've obviously put some electrical post in over the, the winter. So not only does Neat's Head Stays now have or always have water, now if you've got shore power available there's now electrical posts. So that's a nice handy we have uh, thing to um, remember. Especially if you're coming in the uh, uh, what shall I say the, the, the chillier months you know um, you can plug your boat into the shore power if you've got that uh, ability and uh, run a nice wee uh, heater, you know, and uh, no problems. So uh, yeah, um, so that's the update at the moment. Um, still don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be get a cup of coffee. Um, I've only had one this morning and I'm needing another one <laughs> desperately. So I'm going to go get myself organised um, and uh, yeah, see, see what happens after that. Uh, once I've um, uh, fixed myself up and topped up my water. Um, as always though, I shall keep you uh, informed of the events of the day, so uh, until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers! Sometimes nothing is quite as simple or as easy as you expect it to be. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can tell, but I've moved. Um, and I've moved to the other side of the stave. Uh, that's where I was over there, just by the day boat. And I am now moved moored here, on this side of the stage. Why? Right, um, the peculiarity of Royal Stewart is that the water point is on the bow. Bit of a strange odd place to put it I would have thought, but that's where it is. Um, now unfortunately when I was over there my bow was right the way at the end. I pulled out the hose, stretched it all up and it was about a foot too short. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, that meant um, leaving there, coming over here and filling up the water from this side. Um, I'm going to put a, side, a wee side note on it, um, just in case um, you ever come here to fill up with water. You uh, open up your, your wee water point, stretch out the hose, put the hose in, Come up to turn it on and you find this. Where's the tap? Where's the tap? How can I turn it on? The hose is connected there, you know, um, and, you, and you just can't turn it on. This dumbfounded me a wee bit. And I was a wee bit sort of like, oh, typical, you know. All that effort to get over here, um, put the hose in and I can't turn the water on. And I thought, to hell with it. I'll get water tomorrow somewhere else. So I walked all the way down and along and back up and I'm coiling up the hose on the other side of the bank and I just happened to look at the side of the um, water point here, which I'll show you. 
water point, no tap, okay? And I'm coiling up the hose on that side of the bank, over there. And I just happened to glance around the side here, you know? And please use a tap to the rear of this at unit to access the water. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Have a wee look around here. And down there, there is the tap at the back. So, <laughs> some days it's just, uh, uh, only, only me would get into such a kerfuffle about a simple, easy task of like filling up your water after a shower. <laughs> so, once I'd actually done all that, I had to walk all the way back down and back up the, the stave, get the hose and the water point back out, <laughs> put it in and turn the tap on from behind. <laughs> But no, it didn't end there, you know. I paid my my, my money, two pound, um, and I walked up and I went, I'm not hearing any water. So I walked up and I lifted up the hose and there's no water coming out of it. And I thought, oh, I paid my two pound and I've not got any more water. And it's just like, what is going on? Turned out there was a kink in the hose and that was stopping the water from coming through. So straightened out the kink and the water is slowly dripping into the tank now, you know. It's, it's actually quite kinked, this particular hose, so I'll... Uh, only me, only me. Um, but I've done bugger all else today, actually. Um, I've just literally just been chilling, relaxing, like I say, I had a shower, uh, shave, got myself organised, beautified myself, you could even say. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, um, so long story short, is that I'm now on the other side of the stave, but I've got water. So uh, that's fine for no problems. Um, I need to go for a wee wander. Uh, like I say, I need to get some milk um, and just basically have a wee walk, I think. Um, but it's turns, it is remaining to be a lovely, lovely day indeed, you know, and such a quiet stave this, you know, it really is. You know, and at night, you know, when when the sun's down, not that it'll really set until very late tonight, being summer, but uh, yeah, it's it really is a beautiful morning. And if you can get in here, I highly recommend it. Um, but it does get a wee bit tight down the centre channel um, if it does get busy, but um, I'm here, so that's the main thing. Anyway, that's the latest update. Um, I'm going to go away, fill up, uh, finish up uh, f filling my water tank, drink a cold cup of coffee, which I made prior to all my bits and pieces, and it's probably by the time I've actually got round to it, it's probably going to be stone cold. But uh, yeah, get that sorted, and uh, see what else uh, happens for the rest of the day. So yeah, as always though, I'll keep you updated. Uh, so until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers! I'm just having one of these days today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. After the fiasco that was trying to fill up the water on the boat, um, I decided I would take a wee wander down to um, Meat's Head, um, to the wee corner shop here, um, and I thought I would get milk. Um, the boat, by the way, is straight up there, and it's literally only a five minute walk. You walk to the end of the stave, you turn right, walk down here. Although if you're doing that um, and expecting to come back to the boat after dark, take a torch because it's dark up there, you know. Um, but yeah, you just walk straight down the road, uh, straight road, and that over there is the white horse. Um, and I've still undecided if I'm going to go anywhere else um, now that I'm kind of organised or if I'm just going to stay where I am for the night. Um, that is very tempting, the same people that own it own the Lion, which as you know is my favourite place. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're guaranteed a f excellent dinner or lunch in there. But uh, this is the wee store that I was uh, um, coming to get my milk, and um, <coughs> it's closed. Um, and uh, I'm looking at the board here, okay, open every day, Monday to Saturday, 8.30 to 6.00. Sunday 8.30 to 12 and I'm thinking well if it's 8.30 to 6 it should be open it must be open but it's all in darkness the closed signs and there's nobody there and I'm wandering around thinking well are they away for lunch you know 
um, is it going to reopen again, maybe about an, in an hour, you know, and it was just like, I'm scratching my head thinking, why is it closed? It shouldn't be closing them. I went up to the door, opening hours, 8.30 to 6, Monday to Saturday, Sunday, 8.30 to 12, and I was just like, it should be open, it should be open, and I'm having a wonder around, and I, 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 I was getting myself into a bit of a tiz, you know, it was just like, well, it should be open, it says it's going to be open, so why isn't it open? Monday to Saturday, 8.30 to 6. Sunday, 8.30 to 12. Today is day two. Day two is a Sunday. It shuts at 12. It's half past one. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just have to hang your head and say, Russell, it's only you could have days like this. <laughs> Turn something so simple as getting water or getting milk into a major chore. <laughs> uh, so yes, I'm not getting milk today. Um, but like I say, it's not a problem. I've still got sachets of those milk um, that Barnes Brink, and Barnes Brink actually gave me extra sachets when I asked if there was milk available. So uh, yeah. Back to the boat it is, milkless. Um, that's no problem, so I'll, I'll get some milk tomorrow. Uh, I'll maybe stop over at um, Ludden Bridge or... Um, well, actually, I, I could theoretically leave and go up to Stalham, you know, moor up at Stalham, and then there's a Tesco's. So, yeah, anyway, I'm just heading back to the boat. Uh, this day is continuing to be lovely. Um, I've not put any sun cream on, but Something tells me I'm burning. Uh, so yeah, that might be advisable. Um, odd thing is, is that, uh, well it's not an odd thing, it's actually one of the things that I really like about um, coming um, onto the broads. I have no phone signal. Not a jot of bars or signals or anything. Um, so um, I was kind of hoping to update um, uh, everybody on where I was and what I was doing, but um, no. But that's also a good thing, you know, because um, it's, it's nobody can get in touch with you, you can't get in touch with anybody. It forces you to, like I say, chill, relax and slow down, you know. So, very happy about that. Well, not happy, you know. <laughs> How am I going to survive without Facebook? <laughs> but, uh, 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 but yeah, it, it is one of the good things, um, just not being, um, taking it a wee bit back to basics and not being in touch with anybody. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling again, so uh, I'll go for now and uh, hopefully there'll, there'll not be any issues when I attempt to make a cup of coffee back on board. <laughs> but the, knowing me and the way the day is going, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, as always though, I'll keep you updated, so until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers! Okay, just a little wee update for you. The wine has been won. And uh, <laughs> speaking of which, I forgot to tell you about the wine. <laughs> um, yes, uh, obviously, as you know, I, I want a wee sort of thanks for the support competition. Um, every every time I come on the broads um, and it's usually I give away a bottle of wine um, however um, this year I was giving a bottle of fizzy wine away because um, about a month or so ago I finally hit over 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel now I know in YouTube land 500 subscribers is nothing you know but for an idiot on a boat, vlogging his holidays, you know, I was ecstatic with that. I mean, I, I really, I was like amazed, I was like, woohoo! So, to celebrate that, um, I upgraded the wine from the standard wine to a fizzy bottle of wine. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, um, uh, I meant to say this earlier, show you it, uh, <laughs> but I was sitting here um, at... Um, uh, Neat's head, Neaty's head, 
Um, and um, Kim and Mark um, were floating around, came over, said hello, um, and basically um, I invited them on board and we've had an excellent afternoon chatting and talking and drinking coffee and oh it's just been brilliant actually, absolutely fantastic. Um, Robin, I'm sorry Robin and Charlie, you should have won it um, because obviously I met you yesterday however I was a bit too um, sort of like blood ambition ah! you know so um, and I got a, a a wee bit carried away sort of enjoying the, uh, the the conversation on the cider last night uh, and I was a bit hungover this morning I totally forgot about the wine so uh, sorry Robin and Charlie um, you should have won up but I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> due to um, failure on of memory on my part you didn't get it but Mark and Kim came along and um, they won the, the wine. So congratulations Mark and Kim, thank you very much for um, coming along. Um, had a brilliant afternoon um, chatting away with you. Um, I hope I didn't fill you too much up with coffee and shortcake. <laughs> Shortbread I should say. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the latest update. I am currently running the engine. Uh, it's, it's more just for a boost of the batteries more than anything else. Um, the they don't like the engines running late at night, and I try not to run the engines late at night. But the time is currently about five o'clock. I will be going to the pub. Um, well, actually, the the I well, the pub, the White Horse, for dinner. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to spend the night here, but I am spending the night here now. <laughs> So yeah, um, the steed is actually very full now. Um, we've got both, both sides all the way down. Um, so it, I got here nice and early, nice and sharp, nice and easily. Got moored up uh, and there's no problems and everything's fine. Um, it's going to be dinner in the pub tonight um, and I will be leaving maybe about half an hour, an hour or something like that um, to go and enjoy it. But that is the update so far. Um, I never really actually ended up going anywhere. Uh, but I've had a great day nonetheless. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Uh, however, as always, um, well actually, I should say goodbye just now. Because um, I don't know if I'll be back later. I might be back, I might not. Um, all depends on how this evening goes. So. I'll say goodbye, well I'll say this is the end of day two of the Great Norfolk Broads Adventure 8 for now, um, but if I am back later you'll know about it. Um, however if I end up staggering back and it's, <laughs> it's too late, um, I will see you tomorrow uh, on day three. Uh, it's been a lovely, gorgeous day today, um, although the canopy is up at the moment. Um, I have had the canopy down all day and we've sat out in the sun and it's been wonderful. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been a fantastic, beautiful, beautiful cruise up the River Ant. Um, we bit of issues with water and opening times of the, uh, the, the shop, but... Uh, that's just me I suppose. Eh? <laughs> um, but yes, it's, it's been a great day and it's been very relaxing and very peaceful, you know, and it was great meeting up with a, a, a couple of people as well. So uh, yeah, um, so I know, in fact actually I do know where I'm going to, uh, going to go tomorrow. Um, I have to go to Akel tomorrow um, because I am <laughs> meeting up with some people tomorrow. <laughs> Um, uh, but that is a plan. Uh, that was that was the only plan uh, for to for this adventure uh, is to go to Akel tomorrow um, for a journey across um, Braden um, on Tuesday morning. So, looking forward to that. It should be a nice wee cruise back down the River Ant. Um, 
and down the River Bure to Aco. Um, hopefully if I can get there early enough we'll have no problems moving up um, and it, yeah I'm looking forward to it. Um, so that's all for now. Um, I might pop back, might not. If I do, I'll see you later. If I don't, join me for day three and see where the adventure goes tomorrow. <laughs> Until later, until I've got more to update you with, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Show me the way to YouTube I'm tired and I wanna get drunk <laughs> I had a little drink about an hour ago and well <laughs> Good evening YouTube, how are we doing? You all right there by the way? I'm doing absolutely dandy by the way. Um, I'm just back from um, a, a, a wee trip to the netty's head. Um, oh my goodness. Ah, look at this. Um, I know I'm not... I'm, 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 I'm unexpected. See that? That's a higher craft. Still on the go. Oh my goodness. A higher craft. The time is approximately twin, uh, quarter past nine, by the way. Um, and if a higher craft is still out and about at quarter past nine, and they're looking for a space in Nettie's head, they're kind of fucked, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they were thinking coming here, thinking they'd get a space at quarter past nine, by the way. If you want a space at Nettie's head, you kind of have to be there at like quarter past nine in the morning. Not at night. <laughs> oh, uh, and just before anybody says it is still light outside, they can still be moving. <laughs> it's no problem. Although, at this time of night, you'd be lucky to get anywhere near a pub. You know, <laughs> their best bet would be to go out to Barton Broad and drop the mud weight and spend the night in the boat. <laughs> oh, oh. Sorry, I kind of got distracted there, which wouldn't it be like me, would it? You know, no after a drink. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm back from um, um, a few beers and dinner at the White Horse. Um, and I've been there for a few hours, actually. It's actually been quite nice. It has been quite nice. I, I, I had this really sort of, um, this, um, oh Christ, what the hell was it? Bure Gold? Bure Goldfield. I can't even mind what it was called, but it was very nice. It was something like Bure Gold. Um, obviously a reference to the River Bure, you know? And I think it was from a Woodfrod's Brewery. It was a pale ale, you know? Very nice. And I had quite a few of them, you know, with my dinner. Which was... Well... My dinner was nice. I'm going to be a bit subjective here, okay, so didn't they bloody crucify me? <laughs> um, dinner was nice. I thoroughly enjoyed my dinner, right? But the problem was, okay, was that as a starter, I had calamari. Now, calamari is very tasty. I like calamari, okay? Uh, and the batter around the calamari, it was more tempera. Tempura, you know that Japanese batter, you know, very light, very fluffy, very, very crispy, you know, not heavy at all. The calamari, and it, it, it was sort of seasoned with this sort of black pepper, you know, it was very tasty. It really, really was very tasty indeed. I really enjoyed the calamari, except, right, the problem with it was that it came with a few lettuce leaves, right? And I do mean leaves, lettuce, or 
grass leaves or, or whatever you want to call it okay it wasn't much of a salad right but with calamari you, you tend to get a wee bit of sauce or mayonnaise or something you know something to dip into the calamari now usually it's in a wee tub and there's too much okay and I don't know if they were running low I don't know if there was a change or so an attempt to be or maybe they just forgot it maybe they dropped it I don't know but basically right what they did okay is it was like they took a teaspoon a teaspoon not a tablespoon a teaspoon right dipped it in this garlic meal or whatever they, they were calling it plonked it on the plate on the plate and then with the back end just went did a wee sort of semi-circle you know now it wasn't really a sauce okay I'm sorry it wasn't really a dip at all because I, I literally picked up the first piece of calamari right on the fork went like that and it's all gone on the one bit of calamari you know I mean it was like well what the hell do I dip on the rest of the calamari there's only a, a few leaves of bloody lettuce there you know well leaves I should, it wasn't even lettuce it was leaves um, and I was just like well you know I'm, I'm just basically eating calamari then you know no dip no sauce no salad no nothing you know and it was just I mean don't get me wrong okay right the calamari itself beautiful absolutely beautiful but why didn't they actually give you like a wee pot of a wee dish of sauce like anywhere else would have done why smear it onto the plate and then just that can be scooped up in one or two bits of calamari and the rest is gone you know I mean surely they're not trying to save money you know I mean surely a wee dip of calamari sauce or, or garlic mayonnaise or whatever it was you know doesn't cost that much you know or that critical you know so I was a wee bit disappointed with that with the the accompaniments to the calamari the calamari itself beautiful it was the 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 rest of the dish I had a wee bit of a, an issue with um, and then I moved on to the, the pork and apple burger, you know? Now, <laughs> once again, the burger itself, okay? Lovely. It was a lovely, lovely burger, okay? But it, the rest of the plate just, it was a bit like the calamari, you know? What you ordered, you know, calamari, pork and apple burger, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, you know? It was just the rest of the what was on the plate just wasn't quite up to spec, you know. Um, and I don't, I, I don't know if it's because Ricky. Well, I mean, I'm saying Ricky. I know Ricky is the owner of the lion. I believe that means that he's also the owner of the white horse. I don't know if it's because he's on holiday and uh, at the moment and uh, the staff are sort of slacking a wee bit maybe it's a different manager uh, maybe that's just the way they're doing things there just now I don't know but I mean after being to the lion last night and the white horse tonight I enjoyed the visit to the white horse don't get don't get me wrong okay the White Horse is a great place. It really what it really is, you know. But after being to the Lion, I was just a little bit disappointed with the food tonight. You know, it just wasn't up. Just it just didn't have that je ne sais quoi that the Lion has. You know. So yeah. Um, still, it was a beautiful dinner. It really was. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And it was all the dinner, and the beer was gorgeous, you know. Um, I mean, 
I got the impression they were busy, you know, because they were like, oh well this table's reserved and that table's reserved and we can put you on, on this wee stool here or in, tucked into the corner there, you know, but at the same token I was there for like three hours, you know, and at no point did I ever see every, every single table full. You know, maybe I just missed it. Maybe I was just too engrossed in my iPad and Facebook, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, and Messenger, to to notice that the restaurant was full. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It it just seemed that they were getting a bit stressed for not a lot of stressful situation. You know. I don't know. Maybe it was just a one-off, you know. Um, I mean, I've been to the line a few times and I've loved every time, you know. It's just that this time it was like, you know, if usually it was a 95, tonight would have been an 85. Um, so, yeah, it, it was a wee bit of a shame and I'm, I'm sure that it was maybe just the evening, you know. But uh, it was still a nice meal. The beer was gorgeous, you know, the staff were welcoming and they were friendly and they were helpful, you know, can't fault the staff, it was just, just the food was just not quite up to par from what I would have expected out of the, the white horse. Um, still, still, not to worry, not to worry. Anyway, um, I am back, um, it was, it was a good evening, um, good thing about June is that, um, like I say, it's like half past nine at night or later, and it's still daylight out. <laughs> you know, I took a torch with me to go to the pub, you know, and any other time I would have needed the, that torch back, you know, but not tonight, still daylight, and it's like, woo, here we go, no problems, aha, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm back at the boat, and um, I've got to say, it's been a great day. It really has. You know, it's um, maybe not quite as much cruising as I heard. I mean, I, I came up to Nettie's Head basically looking for water and milk. <laughs> Which, you already know the palaver that happened with the water and the milk. Um, and then, of course, um, as I was having a coffee, um, Kim and Mark came along and I chatted me and they got the wine. Didn't get a picture of them, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Kim, Mark, I should have actually taken a picture. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, um, they came on board and, and we actually ended up chatting. All, I mean, it was one of those conversations where you sit, you, you make a cup, you, you, I'm sure you know the, the type of conversations you, you're like, oh, hello, hello, welcome, come on board, you know, how, how would you like your coffee? Would you like coffee? Co Tea, coffee, you know, milk, sugar, yeah, okay, well, and you make a coffee, and how was your day? Lovely weather, isn't it, you know, and you, you give them their coffee, you know, and then next thing you know, it's like two or three coffees later, you know, the sun's setting, the clouds are coming over, it's getting a wee bit chilly, and you're thinking, what happened to the afternoon? I was supposed to be going elsewhere, <laughs> you know, and I was like, ah! You know, it's like three or four hours later, you know, was it, what the hell happened, you know? So, yeah, it was just one of those afternoons, it was brilliant. You, you just, I just got totally absorbed in the conversation with Mark and Kim. So, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a, a fantastic afternoon. Um, and then obviously they, they, uh, they went away back home and um, I got myself ready. I, I ran the engine. Actually, I was supposed to, I was planning on running it for an hour, um, but I only ran it for half an hour, so I probably didn't even charge the batteries that much at all. But um, I kind of figured I'm actually quite glad I did because they did have a few bookings in, and they could have probably got, got me in half an hour later. But um, but yeah, and uh, like I say, I'm not going to be using the batteries much tonight anyway, so. Um, it was probably a bit pointless me firing up the engine for even half an hour. Um, but, you know, what the hell, you know? I'd rather do it for half an hour at five o'clock um, than run the potential risk of running out of batteries. I wasn't actually going to run out of batteries. I mean, let's face it, I've not really been using batteries as much at all. 
So um, yeah, it, it's, it's been a good evening, it really has, it's been good, um, I'm feeling a wee bit worse for wear, if, if I'm honest, um, and ready for calling it a night, but um, not before I have a, just, just one more. <laughs> hey, I've got some crap TV to watch tonight. <laughs> Which, which, when I say crap TV, usually means one of my crap films from DVDs because I never watched TV. Having said that, you know, I've not turned that TV on once. Now, I know this is like, well, duh, of course, you're on a boat, you know. Why would you want to turn the TV on when you've got views like this, you know? Well, maybe not like this, you know, <laughs> it's head full of boats. But, yeah, you, you know what I mean, you know. So, well... The thing is, is that anybody that, that knows me knows I like my films. I mean, I, I like, I'm a total film buff, you know, and especially when it comes to like science fiction films, you know, oh, oh, I'm nuts for it, you know, I'm <laughs> crazy for it, you know. So the fact that I haven't turned a TV on for two days to not even watch an episode of science fiction of any sort, you know. That alone is a miracle. <laughs> what are you doing, Russell? No, get some Star Trek on! A Star Wars movie! Far Escape, you know! Dark Matter! I don't care anything, just get some side fiction on! <laughs> oh, but no, no, seriously though, it's um. It's been very good. It's been very good. Um, and I did actually think about... <laughs> and, uh, I did actually think about doing a wee song and dance for you tonight. <laughs> I had an idea. In fact, I've got a couple of ideas, actually. You know? And I'm kind of all prepared for it and ready for it. But you know something? I was coming down the, the stage there, you know? And it's like... It's so quiet. And in fact, I'll, I'll tell you what, okay? Here we go, here we go. Ah. Right, bear with me, okay? Right, I've had a few, right? Move my glasses out of the way so I don't sort of destroy them, right? Ah. I'm just poking my head up off the roof. Okay. Right, hold, hold on a second. Oh. Probably a bad idea. Right. I'm going to spin you round and show you Nettie's head stave. But I'm not going to say anything. Listen, just listen and tell me what you hear, okay? Do you hear that? Nothing. That's what Nettie's head stayed is like. Total quiet. Like there's nothing. I mean really. And I want to come back and start playing music and dancing and singing and doing my stupid Rod Stewart stuff again. Not in a place like this. It's amazing. I mean, there's there, there's what uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten boats here, right? That broadsman that you can see over there, full of lads. You know. And yet, despite that. Complete quiet. I mean, I swear, if I if I actually had decent hearing, I could probably hear moths at the moment. I mean, it's just like complete tranquility of the highest quiet. And of course, I'm standing up, bloody saying to you in the middle of it. 
I should go back in the boat. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm going down. Down, dive, Captain, dive. What? 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 But yeah, it's like uh, uh, oh, let me just close, close and lock that before I forget to do it later. Yeah, but it's, I mean, that's what Nettie's head, Neat's head, Neatie's head, Nettie's head, Neatie's, whatever the hell you want to call it, I will still, I'll just call it Nettie's head because I, I think it's pronounced Neat's head, Neat's. Neaties of whatever it's called. <laughs> it's 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 one of these rare staves where it just promotes such calm, tranquility, peace and quiet. There's boats very close to each other on both sides of the river, you know, and yet despite that There's nothing. There's no sound at all. No music, no TVs, no shouting, no parties, no love making. <laughs> but you know, there, 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 there's just nothing. You know, it's, it's complete quiet tranquility, you know? And that's one of the beauties about Neatie's head, net neat's head, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just so serene, you know, and it promotes that, and and you can't help but be quiet, you know. I would love to get up and do a little wee sort of fun and games with you right about now. I'm totally in the mood, by the way, but on the same token, it's just like well. How can I, you know? It's just so quiet, you know? Um, it's obviously because it's June, you know, the, the sun goes down far, far later, you know, but, you know, when the sun does go down, you know, it's, well, I would say it would get totally dark, but because we've now got electricity posts, I don't know if you can see that, just over there, because we've got electricity posts, we've got wee lights on top of the, electricity posts so there is a little bit of illumination now at the stave um, whether that's a good thing or not I'll, I'll leave up for you to decide uh, thankfully I'm not sleeping at the back of the boat I'm sleeping at the front of the boat so I don't have that light shining directly into my cabin um, I might have an issue if that was the case but at the moment, you know, I'm sleeping up at the, the bow of the boat, so that's uh, not a problem. Um, but yeah, there's just something about this place. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, you get ready for the party, you know, you, you're getting all dolled up, you know. You know, BGs are on, you know, da -da 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 -da. you know, you, you've got the swagger on, you know. The, you know, I can't even remember, you know. Ba, 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 stay with them. You know, you're just not ready for it, you know. And you, you come up here, you know, and you, you step on a boat and it's like, all right, baby, yeah, all right, hen, you know. You're ready for a bit of boogie and, you know, I'll show you my moves and you get ready, you know, you know. Got a cabin just there, you know, with a double bed just for you, you know. It's like... Hey, hey, oh, here we go, you know, and then you step on the boat, you know. Okay, I have no idea what happened there. I don't know how it stopped or when it stopped, but apparently the filming stopped. And I didn't know that until the shutter sh automatically shut on me. <laughs> oh, right, so yeah, um, long story short is that it was a beautiful meal in the White Horse. No, it was, it was a good meal in the White Horse. I thoroughly enjoyed it. 
it just wasn't considering that it's owned by the same people that have the lion it just wasn't quite as up to par as what I expected you know I'm sure it was just uh, the night you know maybe they're just having a bad night maybe they're low and stuff I don't know but uh, it was good I thoroughly enjoyed it I've had a great evening Neaty's head has a strange ethereal effect on you a calming effect on you that requires that you do not dance like an idiot and make a fool of yourself for public social media <laughs> so yeah <laughs> it, it, it just seems it's just gonna be me and chilling and relaxing and yeah um, so yeah that is it um, I hope you have enjoyed day two um, I'm away to uh, make a coffee I think I'm gonna need one or two maybe three or six <laughs> but uh, yeah um, if you have been watching day two thank you very much I hope you've enjoyed it it's it's not it, it's been a wee bit of a, a here and there you know um, and uh, it's, it's been it's been good it's, it's been a glorious day um, I wish it would stay the same tomorrow not feeling very confident about that unfortunately but we shall see we shall see how the weather goes um, but uh, join me join me in day three of the great Norfolk Blood Adventure 8 and see what happens tomorrow I don't know what happens tomorrow I know where I have to go tomorrow but will I get there Will I enjoy myself there? What will happen there? You know, these are questions that I cannot answer right now, you know. But we shall find out tomorrow. And if you join me tomorrow on day three, you shall find out as well. <laughs> so, yeah, come along, join me for day three. It's been great having your company today for day two. Um, feel free to like share subscribe <laughs> I, I hate saying that you know it's like I'm plugging the channel you know which naturally I should do you know but you know I, I, it's like well if, if you like the, the video you'll automatically like it if you like my channel you'll automatically subscribe it you know and if you think my videos are worthy of greater viewing then you will automatically share it you know even if it's just a turn around and say look at this blasted idiot you know Christ what a state <laughs> you know so I hate saying that whole like share subscribe thing that other youtubers do you know what I'll say is that if you have enjoyed the video make a comment say hi you know I try to I read everything and I try to call, I try to respond, you know, to all comments, you know. So, yeah, you know, feel free to, to comment below, you know. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where t uh, tomorrow takes us. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow at day three. And uh, until then, um, join me tomorrow morning for day three of the Great Norfolk Broads Adventure 8. So, until then... I'll speak to you then. Bye for now. Cheers!